morning. Today, I am gonna be taking you with me everywhere I go. We're gonna be eating everything I normally eat in a day. So, I mean, it's a normal day for me, but you guys get to come along with me. I get a lot of questions about the things I eat, how much I eat, etc., etc. So, I have decided to film this video and I will probably do more if you guys enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite an intuitive eater, so I will just eat when I'm hungry. I just wanna eat and enjoy my life. I don't wanna be constantly like counting numbers and restricting what I'm eating and this, that, and the other. Like, I just wanna be healthy. I know diet is a huge part of gains, but that's not important to me, honestly. So you guys are gonna see what I eat. I am going to the gym today. So this is a what I eat in the day gym edition. What I normally eat is the same pretty much day to day. Like, I pretty much have the same thing for breakfast recently. So let's get making some porridge. being almost finished with my dining room and then I can actually sit and eat my breakfast at a table in a room not just on the side on a stool in my kitchen which is fine I don't mind it I can as long as I can eat that's all that matters it doesn't matter where I eat I do love peanut butter I can't I could not imagine being allergic to peanuts but to be fair I say that about any foods like it would be so peak if you were allergic to food Especially if it was a food you, but I guess you would never eat it. I guess you would never know better. You remember that advert that was like, you're not yourself when you're hungry. That's actually me. I'm not even joking. I get so moody, so angry when I'm hungry. But like if you've been on my streams before, you'll know that we like talk about party girl daisy and like I don't, when I drink, I don't feel like myself. But like also there's hungry daisy and hungry daisy is just angry. She's so angry. She has so much pent up anger. And I feel like I have a lot of it anyway. And the gym is very good for like helping with that. But I genuinely think that like, I'm not myself when I'm hungry. Get Snickers. All done. Wiped up clean into my belly. Energy for the gym. We love to see it. Right, the next thing that I will do or eat is not really eat, but like, I have been on such a mushroom hype. If you've been on my streams on my Instagram, you'll know how much I talk about mushrooms. Lion's mane mushroom, shaga mushroom, reishi. I have not pronounced any of these correctly. I already know. But these mushrooms are actually really good for your brain. And I have a really bad memory. Like my short term memory is horrific. I will just randomly forget what I'm saying halfway through sentences. It's, I will start talking about something and then forget what I'm talking about when the, when the person replies and be like, huh, what are you talking about? Even though I've literally just asked the question, I will forget what the question was. But yeah, my brain works in weird ways. I don't always feel completely there. I don't always feel completely switched on, but I started taking mushrooms because that sounds really crazy. I don't mean like I'm not getting high every day. They're not psychedelics. They're just mushroom. They're natural mushrooms. They're legal. They're good for your brain. And yeah, there's a lot of evidence su to suggest it helps with like your neur neural connections, I think it's called. But yeah, I've got this one from Holland and Barrett. It's a 10,000 milligram mushroom complex. They're all just natural mushrooms. And I was like, how, how on earth are mushrooms, like a natural mushroom, helping my brain so much? But yeah, it's, I feel like I've got into a habit of taking them every morning after my breakfast now. And I take two every morning. And I just feel a lot more switched on. I just feel a lot more switched on. But yeah, that's, I feel like I've been rambling for hours now, but that is the next thing that I kind of, it's not really eat, but my supplements that I take. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go get ready for the gym and I will see you in a little bit when we eat something. Good afternoon, guys. I have been to the gym. I um, just got back. I nipped in Tesco on the way home. I swear, like, most times I go to the gym, if I do a sauna, I don't know what it is. I always get a meal deal. It's become a tradition at this point where I just have to get a meal deal after I've been in the sauna. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get all my meal deal out of my bag. Oh my God, my sandwich is so squished. Let me show you what I've got. I got my medical up. Okay, what have I got from my meal deal? I've got one very squished sandwich. I've got the peri peri chicken sandwich that had E. coli in it. It doesn't now, just to clarify. And also I did eat the sandwiches when they had E. coli in and I was absolutely fine. So I have a stomach of steel. This is honestly such a good little wrap. I love it. And it's high protein, chicken, beans. It's yum, I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. And then I got the Tropical Defense Innocent Smoothie, which is like a coconut milk, mango, ginger. It's just good for like your immune system. And then I always get the Grey's chocolate flapjack thing as my snack. Oh, and I also got myself a chocolate Huel shake. I always, again, I always seem to get these. This is, these are honestly just taste so good and they're obviously full of protein. So I know that it's good for like building muscle Feeling, feeling good. I know it's got all my like vitamins and minerals and stuff in it as well. Like it's got everything I kind of need. It's good to have after the gym. I like having a Huel shake after the gym. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna have for my dinner tonight. Um, I'm not sure what I've got in. I need to finish packing before I go to weigh tomorrow. I also forgot to get a key cut, so I need to go find my other key. Right guys, we are back in my kitchen wearing a new outfit because I have had a nap. Yes, I had a nap. It is currently 5 p.m. I may have fell asleep, I may have had a nap. I think I'm probably deciding a bit whether I want more food later, but I've also got to get really early nights. I've got to be up at 4 a.m. So I think I'm just gonna see how I feel because or I might just have like a really big, like late lunch dinner now. But I have some chicken that needs eating. I've got literally three fillets left. I had one yesterday, but I have three chicken fillets that I cooked yesterday and obviously I go away, so they need eating. I'm also gonna have some rice. So I've got some basmati rice that I'm gonna have with it. And I'm gonna chuck this into the microwave. I am so lazy with rice. Like I always just buy the packet microwave rice because it's just, it is literally just 10 times easier and it takes two minutes. And so it's like ready straight away essentially. I do want to reheat this chicken. So I'm going to just throw that in the microwave as well. I try not to give myself food poisoning before I go away. I hope this isn't too loud over my mic. But yeah, let's make some lunch slash dinner. absolutely love chicken. I mean, I love chicken before that. It was probably the one food that was like the easiest to replicate. Like vegan chicken tastes pretty much just like chicken other than the texture. Well, it just tastes like processed chicken, which is technically what it is, but not chicken. I need to go to bed because I've got to be up at 4 a.m. So that is everything I generally eat in a day. If you enjoyed this video, guys, remember to give it a like, subscribe, hit the notifications button so you don't miss when I post, and I will see you next time I upload. Bye guys.